Do you have a system in place to give your employees feedback? Specifically, your remote employees. When employees work from home, it can be challenging to keep ongoing communication with them. Feedback is critical to the overall success of your team, which is why today we will be discussing why feedback is important to employee performance and methods you can implement to remotely give your employees feedback. I'm Alex for JotForm. Let's get started. In the past, it was probably more common for you to give feedback in person. It was easy for you to schedule a meeting with someone or chat with them over lunch about their performance. Conversations like these were meaningful and allowed you to see someone's body language as you engaged with them. However, now that more people are working from home, the ways we communicate with one another have to change. Even if they are changing, you should still communicate your feedback with your employees. It will help them to understand where they are going wrong in their work and how they can best fix it. Positive feedback is great too because it's encouraging and gives your employees a boost of confidence. Let's get into some tips on how to properly give feedback. Our first tip is to maintain consistent communication. In the office, small interactions with employees can mean a lot. When you chat while taking the elevator up or catch up during lunch, you can learn a lot about a person that you would normally not learn through emails or other more formal interactions. But when everyone is working from home, you don't have these opportunities to greet and get to know your team members. This is why it is so important to create a system where you're reaching out to remote employees regularly. Set a reminder on your calendar to check in with them at least once per day. You can discuss what projects they are working on or deliver good news. Whatever you choose to talk about, make sure you are talking with employees frequently so that you are more comfortable giving them feedback in the future. Next tip. Don't forget to share positive and negative feedback. One of the greatest mistakes a remote leader can make is not noticing when your employees are doing a good job. We are quick to assume that no news is good news and that nothing needs to be said when things are going well, but that's just not true. Don't only save feedback for when things go wrong. Employees will slowly dread talking to you because they will start to assume that you're going to say something bad. Make an effort to incorporate positive feedback. If your employees are doing something well, tell them. It will boost employee morale and remind employees which traits they should cultivate. Our third tip, be specific in your feedback. Your feedback will be far more effective if you tell the employee exactly what they did well. Here are some examples. Nice work organizing this event. Your thorough planning shows how prepared you were to take lead on the project. Your performance on the project exceeded my expectations. I'd love to see you participate in the upcoming event as well. Now, when giving negative feedback, you should be specific about the action and desired result. That way, employees will know what went wrong and how they need to change. Either way, positive criticism should always outweigh the negative. Try using the sandwich method. Start with positive feedback, then move to constructive feedback and end on a positive note. Next. Ask your employees for input. While remote feedback from you is essential, it's also a good idea to ask employees how they feel about their own work and experience with the company. They may not come right out and tell you. Employees are usually far more likely to share their concerns and needs if you ask. And try to plan out time to talk with every employee. Each person has their own unique perspective that can be of value. If you don't have time to talk one-on-one -on -one with everyone, you can give them an opportunity to give feedback in a digital form. This leads into our final tip. Find a medium for communication that works best for you. It's important to find a method that you can systemize so that it's the same every time. Once you have a system in place for gathering and storing feedback, keeping track and sharing it electronically will be much easier. JotForm has several feedback templates that make it simple to gather and share feedback remotely. They are easy to customize to match your unique needs. Okay, let's recap the five methods for giving feedback that we talked about today. First, maintain consistent communication with employees. Second, share positive and negative feedback. Third, be specific in the feedback that you're giving. Fourth, Ask each employee for input on their own work and see how they feel about it. And fifth, find a medium for communication that works best for you and your employees. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Alex with JotForm. Bye-bye.